this is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer Chromebook 13 C810 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook 13 C810. Uh, before we start, a couple items to go over. First, uh, laptop model identification. On the palm rest, it says Acer Chromebook 13 C810. And if the palm rest is missing, there's a label on the back. At the very top, it says Acer Chromebook 13 C810 series. The other thing is we want to make sure that the laptop is turned off when we are working on it. Normally, when you open and close a Chromebook or close and open a Chromebook, it automatically turns on. So you want to make sure it turns off and you press the power button here to turn off. If there's nothing on the screen, then it's turned off. Okay, next we're going to go over the tools we're going to use. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. Also, if we have smaller screws, we have a PH00 electronic screwdriver for smaller screws. We have a hobby knife for an exacto enough knife that's to lift up adhesive tape. We have a metal spudger to pry things open, used as a prying tool. And we have a pair of metal tweezers just to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate cables and can also be used as a prying tool. Okay, first thing to do is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in this particular case, there's no screws securing it, so we can just snap the screen bezel off. To do this, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen size and find a spot where we can lift up the screen bezel and so we can gain some traction maybe. And once you do that, gently lift up and out. And this one's a little bit tougher, but it can be done. And you'll hear some snapping sounds. And in this matter, work your way around the screen assembly. If you get stuck at a certain point, you can come back to that spot later on. Just keep going around and take your time on this. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. And keep going. And the same thing on the bottom. It comes off pretty easily on the bottom and then it comes off. Okay, once we remove the bezel, we want to remove the screen from the screen assembly. And there's four screws that we need to remove and we got to be careful to remove the right screws. So, in this case there's two screws. In each case we want to remove the outermost screw of this one and this one and the light one on the bottom here and here. Okay, to do this, tilt the screen back a little bit so it doesn't fall forward on you when you're uh, removing and start removing the screws one by one. Uh, this bigger screwdriver can barely grip these screws so we're going to try the smaller screwdriver and that works a little bit better. So that's two and three and four. Once we do that, we gently, we gently take the screen by the mounting tabs and lower it on the keyboard. When we do this, we want to make sure to avoid the power button because if we press the power button, the laptop will turn on and we don't want it to turn on. Uh, to give you a little bit more room to work with, we lift up the video cable back, the adhesive on the back of the video cable, so we have more room to work with. And the next step is to remove this adhesive tape securing the connector. So we grab the adhesive tape. And slowly remove it. Like so. Okay, then once we do that, 
we grab the connector by the back and slide it out like so. I'm going to show you how to re reinsert it again. And when you reinsert it, slide it back in, you'll feel but not hear two or yeah, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Okay, this is what a properly connected connector looks like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's remove the connector again and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 13.3 inch EDP standard definition screen. The part number on this one is B133XTN01.3. Now when you order the screen, most likely the screen that you'll get will not have the same part number but the mounting tabs should be in the same place and it should be a 30 pin connector on the lower right hand side. And this particular screen has a matte finish rather than a glossy finish. Okay, you can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what we what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in the video. It comes for free with the screen. We have free priority mail shipping in the United States, so you'll get your screen in two or three days. We have a compatibility guarantee and a two-year warranty against screen defects. And we have free email technical support. Also, this laptop or this Chromebook is used a lot in schools, so we work with schools around the country and around the world, and we have extra technical support for schools. We accept purchase orders and we have volume discounts for school districts. Okay, if you're a school district, go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com. There'll be a link at the top that says schools and there will be a form for you to fill out. Uh, if you just want to order the screen, once again, go to our website. On the front page, there will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to the right screen and then you can buy it online. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country at checkout. Okay, once you do receive your screen, uh, make sure it looks like the old screen. Reconnect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top and two at the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on and then you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.